Hi, my name is Belle and welcome back to How To IT. I just want to say a huge big thank you to everyone that has subscribed to my channel. It really means a lot to me and my mission is to help as many people as I can. And with all the subscribers that I've gotten so far, it gives me hope that I'm doing a good job. So thank you so much. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make a thumbnail in Microsoft PowerPoint. Be sure to stick around for the end of the video where I go over a quick time saving tip. So first of all, to make a thumbnail, you do need an idea. So while you're in the video making process, think of ideas about your thumbnail as well. In my process, I actually pose for a couple pictures, uh, screenshots, if you will, um, at the start of my video. I can take these out of the video and then put them onto my thumbnail. For my other gaming channel though, I normally just use some game footage as the background of my thumbnail with a nice title of the game that I'm playing and what episode I'm up to. So after you've got that idea formulated, let's put it into action. So I use PowerPoint to create thumbnails for both my channels as I find it really easy to use. I like to have a different look of my thumbnails for each of my playlists, but I retain the same channel art in them so you can easily recognize that it is my channel and it's about this topic. So let's get started and open up Microsoft PowerPoint. If we go to start, I've actually got PowerPoint in here in this folder. Um, if you can't find yours though, we'll go to all apps and scroll all the way down to P and there's PowerPoint. So now we have PowerPoint open. You can choose one of these um, themes. You can also go to more themes and there is heaps. Uh, you can also search. So I don't know, you might want to search for dog themes. You can search and customize all these themes. Uh, for today's video though, I'm going to show you how to just create a thumbnail that is eye-catching and from scratch. So we're going to choose a blank presentation. It comes up with these text boxes. I just go ahead and click them and delete. Click and delete. Right? Okay. So now we just have a full blank rectangle. So now we're going to go ahead and add our picture. Um, so I've got a picture that I grabbed from a video earlier and we can insert that. So if we go to insert up here on the top left and then we go pictures and I'm going to say this device. I'm going to just quickly find where my picture is. Uh, I'm making a DaVinci Resolve. So if we go and I'm going to choose this picture, insert. So I have my picture. I also need to insert another picture. which is my logo. Now with pictures, you can easily pick them up, move them anywhere. Um, click on the dot on each corner, size them to however big you would like them. I'm going to place me over here and I actually need a 
one more picture. Okay, so I've got my three elements here. Um, so this is pretty much my channel art. So I've got myself, my channel logo, and normally I put a picture in of the thing that I'm talking about. I don't know if you've noticed, but there's this rectangle down the right side. Uh, this is like a designer type thing. It can take your pictures and crop them and do interesting things with them. You can also do see more designs. Um, so you can just see if you like any of those. If you do, then click on that. Um, then it'll pop up here. If you don't like it, um, just press Control Z or Command Z on Mac. Um, so there's just like interesting uh, designs just to spice up your, your thumbnail. So at the moment, I don't want any of those, but I don't want this white background either. So I'm just gonna right click on an empty part of the PowerPoint, and I'm just gonna say Format Background. Now we're going to click on solid fill. It's highlighted there. And then we're going to go and change the color to black. And there we go. So now it is time to add some text. So we're going to go up to here, insert, and then all the way over here, we're going to go word art. And then I am going to click on this one. So this video is about Da Vinci Resolve. Now I'm just going to press Control A and that's going to highlight the whole text because we can't see it right now. And I'm going to go Text Fill, which is the main color of our text. Um, and I'm going to click on this red here. This is actually not my channel font. So I'm actually going to change the font. So if we go to home and our font still highlighted, we can go down to my channel font, which is protester paint, protest paint. And I'm going to just scale it up a little bit here. Now I'm going to copy this. So pressing control C and then control V. I'm going to bring this down here. Uh, now that we have our cursor here, we can press control A. It'll highlight it all. And we can just start typing whatever else we want. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And we're going to make this white. Now, if we have the four arrows here on the side, we can actually click and drag it upwards. Now, I don't actually like that huge big gap between them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to press Control C. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna press on the four arrows on the corner. So it highlights this text box. And then I'm going to press Control C and then Control V. 
And I'm actually going to get rid of that word in this one. And then get rid of this word in that one. Bring this down a smidge. And then this one up a little bit. Make sure they're centered. And that looks pretty good. This needs to be centered. Yep, there we go. And that is how easy it is to create a thumbnail in PowerPoint. So to save this as a photo, all I'm going to do is take a screenshot. I recommend not having your PowerPoint slide greater than 100% down here because it can make your image just too big to upload to YouTube. So if we go down to 100% and then we are going to press the Windows Shift S key and now we're going to have a screenshot dialog box. You probably can't see this. Now all we're going to do is just draw a box over our PowerPoint slide. I like to come in just a little bit of before the borders so I don't get any of that white. And then let go and it'll pop up in the bottom corner and then you just click and open it. Then we can save it up the top there. And it's going to save it as a PNG and we press save. And there you have it. You have your very own thumbnail. You can now upload that to YouTube and it's going to look amazing. Okay, so this is my super time saving tip with PowerPoint. So if you make a lot of videos with the same look in the same playlist, PowerPoint can actually help speed things up. So this file, if we go into here, double click and it'll open PowerPoint. So these are my previous PowerPoint um, thumbnails for my DaVinci Resolve series on YouTube. So if we actually come down to this last one here, we can actually duplicate this slide. So it's just given all my assets, everything that I need. I'm going to right click and change this picture from this device. Grab my new photo. We can resize this. We can hold shift and move these over. And then quickly change this to suit this new thumbnail. Oop, we don't want the back. And we are done. Literally five seconds to create a new thumbnail. And this is why 
I use PowerPoint for most of my thumbnails. And then once we're finished, we can just press save and it'll keep on saving these. And then for my next video, I can just say duplicate slide, change my picture and then change the words and boom, I'm ready to go for another thumbnail. Well, I hope you found this video useful and in a future video, I will be covering how to make your own channel art. Well, as always, I'm Belle and I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.